Today I'm going to introduce you to a superb cooking sauce. In fact, I think it's one of the biggest legacies that Nigeria has given the world because it's eaten right across Nigeria and I know that other Africans enjoy the sauce. I'm talking of the Nigerian tomato sauce. Normally, you would have this variety of ingredients in the typical Nigerian tomato sauce. And we're talking of onions, tomatoes, tomato puree, palm oil, ginger, garlic, paprika, bay leaf, and your normal cooking salt. All of these ingredients would normally need to be blended together to make the typical Nigerian tomato stew. But fortunately, Odega House no longer makes it necessary for you to go to the palaver of chopping onions, blending your tomato and bringing all these ingredients together. They've done all of that now for you by producing this excellent cooking sauce, the Alafia Niger tomato sauce. This sauce is for me a very powerful indication that the African cuisine, especially West African cuisine, is coming of age. It's evolving and like all the, like all the culinary cultures, it's now evolving superb cooking sauces that is making it easy for the world to begin to enjoy a cuisine. Now this sauce, I know right from when I was a child that most households depend upon it from one end of the week to the other because it goes with virtually all kind of carbohydrate dishes you can think of. It's superb with pasta, it's superb with chips, it's superb with rice, it's excellent with couscous, it's excellent with boiled plantains, fried plantains, it's excellent with yams, it's excellent with any type of carbohydrate dish you, could, you can think of. It's actually beautiful. It's, it's superb as a, a, a pizza topping as well. As I said, I believe it's one of the jewels in, in, in Nigeria's culinary culture. Now on this occasion, I'm going to show you how to prepare uh, a typical Nigerian tomato stew with um, beef. But the choice is entirely yours. You could either use chicken or beef or lamb or pork or whatever type of meat um, you, you prefer. I'm going to show you how to prepare a typical Nigerian tomato stew using beef on this occasion. Essentially, all I'm going to do is to pop the beef into the saucepan for this quantity of beef which is roughly half a pound of beef I'm going to just put a dessert spoonful of salt because tomato tends to require quite quite a bit a bit of salt and then I'll just tip in two jars of the Alafia tomato cooking sauce. That's one jar gone in, and then this is the second one. And then I'll add some vegetable, some vegetable oil, roughly 200 mils, but as you know, the amount of vegetable oil you consume is a very personal thing, but I tend to find that just 200 mils for half a pound of beef is plenty. I'll just turn up, I'll turn the heat up very slightly and um, that should encourage it to begin to cook. 
I'll state so that um, the sauce and the beef becomes well incorporated. I'm, I'm sure you can see how it's beginning to it's beginning to come together. I'll just add in this jar you have some beef stock which I'm just going to add to the saucepan. I'll stir it some more. And then, just before I leave it to simmer, I'll add some onions, but this is entirely uh, optional. I find that I, um, I, li I like the poignancy of fresh onions in, in the sauce, but it's entirely up to you. It's, it's, it's something optional. So all I need to do now is just to stir the contents of the pot or saucepan and to make sure that the contents of the saucepan is all well incorporated. The cooking sauces, the onions are all in perfect harmony as it were. So I'll just put the lid back on and leave the stew to simmer through on the back burner. Now you could leave it for on medium heat for roughly 20 to 25 minutes just until the meat is tender and the onion is softened and um, then you can it's ready to serve but first of all before you serve it you taste for for salt um, so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you the next dish on the item So while the stew is bubbling away very nicely in the back burner there, I'm going to show you how to prepare the accompaniment to the Nigerian tomato stew. Essentially it's on this occasion going to be white boiled rice with some fried plantains. So what I'll do is I'm going to 